Thank you for choosing WB Jones as your spring resource. In this video, we will be covering how to measure compression springs. Tools we recommend you have before you start are a micrometer, which should be used whenever possible, calipers, and a ruler or tape measure for large springs. In this video, we will be using this easily measurable and large compression spring to show the steps clearly. First, we want to measure the wire diameter. Common practice is to measure the wire in two different spots and take the average. For this spring, the wire diameter is 0.253 inches. Next, we'll measure the outside diameter, commonly referred to as OD. The outside diameter of this spring is 2.897 inches. When possible, it is best to measure the outside diameter in the middle of the spring as the end coils tend to run large. The inside diameter, or ID, is hard to measure accurately, so use the outside diameter whenever possible. For this spring, the inside diameter is 2.383 inches. Then we'll measure the length. We'll use a ruler for this spring, but if your spring is smaller, we recommend using a micrometer or caliper. This spring is 10.125 inches long. For the last step, we need to figure out the coil count. We will show two different ways. First, doing a physical count, and then measuring the space between coils. The most common method is counting the coils. When doing the coil count, make sure you count each full rotation, and then remainder of the last coil. For example, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, etc. This spring, for example, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen full rotations make the coil count thirteen. The most accurate and recommended method is measuring the space between the coils. It is best to measure the space in two spots towards the center of the spring and take the average. The space between the coils for this spring is 0.621 inches. You will notice a pitch option when filling out the online form. We don't recommend using the pitch because it is very subjective. Now you will have all the information required to measure your compression spring accurately. Thank you for watching our video, and if you find yourself holding a spring like this, or something not easily measurable or describable, we have members on staff who are always here to help.